Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I was having the most wonderful dream last night. I was with Mick Jagger and the phone rings. Ah, and I had my phone on do not disturb. I don't get this. Ah, <clears throat> I have uh, a lot of intimacy in my dreams. My dreams are sometimes better than real life. <laughs> So let's get an update. My flower boxes are done. They're not exactly what I wanted, but I am enjoying them immensely. Uh, my mother loved um, flowers and she taught me a lot. Of course, I took entomology in college and I had a landscape company for 40 years. So I learned a couple of things. Uh, I do think that everybody should have a dogwood and a, uh, what is it, uh, magnolia in their yard and a lilac bush, yeah. Lilac smells so good, oh my God. <clears throat> so, update on me stopping all my meds. I didn't see a change for about four or five days and I said I almost started to go back on my blood pressure and cholesterol and I said well you know what it's probably still in my system let me just give it another day or two well in the last two days I have cleaned more than I have in two years that is the difference now I don't recommend this for everybody but I I kind of knew that being on this meds it was dragging me down. It's like I had a weight around me. It's like a fog. I couldn't think. I couldn't think enough to even compartmentalize cleaning this section of a room, if you know what I mean. And maybe it's because I'm old. I don't know. But because I got all that crap out of my system, I now can concentrate. It was like just fog was over me. I don't get it. I'm telling you, you really need to read the side effects on your meds because I don't like having no energy because I have so much to do. So my grandson's coming over with his girlfriend. I might videotape him. Uh, let me give you a little recap. <clears throat> he uh, was born uh, bi with a bilateral cleft palate, the poor little guy. He's got to have one more surgery one more surgery to break his jaw and wire it shut. Um, so this little guy's been through the ringer. I mean, really. And he's got the most cutest girlfriend. So my heart goes out to him. He's the only grandson I'll ever have. So yes, he's very special. And I only have one granddaughter and she'll be the only granddaughter I'll ever have because my daughter uh, has never wanted children. And I respect that about her. Not everybody should have children and not everybody should be married. And I raised her that way. I wanted her to know that she had value in this world without a guy hanging on her or without her hanging on a guy. And I, and I succeeded in that. And I raised my son to realize that he may have to do domestic chores. And let me tell you what, he can clean house. He can cook. He puts most women to shame, and that's the way I raised him because I kind of knew that he was going to take on that role. So what has gotten me down is the allergies. I mean, I go to bed coughing so much from the congestion that I can't even get to sleep. Uh, and there was so much pollen on my car. My car turned green. Um, but the pollen here has been horrible. Now we've had some good rains, which probably has washed off a lot of it. But I have never seen the pollen this bad in my life. It has really affected me. Um, and a lot of other people, everybody I know, you know, is on decongestant, nasal spray, allergy, Zyrtex, nasal cord. I'm on Demista. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Uh, yeah, my grandson will be here. And I actually cleaned my living room and my um, kitchen, spotless, disinfected everything. And tonight I go clean the bathroom. You hear that bird? The bird is, I know bird language. The bird is telling me to get my butt in the house so they can eat. Now I put up two bird feeders. One 
will actually hold the crows because I realized the crows were having a very hard time uh, getting balanced on this little feeder. So I got them a huge feeder. I mean, the feeder's this big and I got a little one for the little birds. So, but let me tell you what, they sit on the roof next door and they will tell me to wake up. They will. They are getting so used to me. Oh my God, they got babies. They got babies up there. They're getting so used to me that they fly now right up to me. And it would be wonderful if I could hold out some seed. I'll wait till the feeders go empty. I'm going to hold out some seed and I'm going to tame them. To me, that would be the biggest thrill of my life, but it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience. I used to have a, a, um, a cockatiel named Pepper Jean and Pepper was used to our hand and she would like take a shower with us. She would uh, eat with us. She'd walk across the plates. We just love Pepper Jean. Oh, and then my, one of my nieces let her out of her cage in Florida and she flew out, but thank God she was in a tropical area, but I do love Pepper Jean. I mean, I took Pepper Jean everywhere. Oh, uh, so yes. I hate getting attached to animals because then they pass or then they fly away. <clears throat> I did have some finches and my cat I had for 26 years named Kit Kat ate the finches. You can't have little birds around the kitty cat. I'm sorry. I'd, I've never seen it happen and never seen it work out because the finches got out one day. I don't know how they did that. but. And then I had another set of birds and I forgot to put the little gravel in there for them to, you know, grind up their food or whatever. And they died from that. So you really got to do your research when you have birds. But <clears throat> they really are telling me to get back in the house. So I'm going to listen to them. I'm going to go back in so that they can feed. I hope you all had a happy Easter. I actually did not leave my house for four days. I had the best time just cleaning the house. Having time to clean a house makes me happy. I didn't go anywhere. I actually had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> I don't even want to go to the grocery store because uh, it gives my face a break. It gives, gives me a break not to have to, you know, put on my makeup every day. So, yeah. All right. Adios, amigo.